make sure everything's working. It's been it's been a couple days since I've done this. <laughs> Hello! Hey, hi. Man, it's been I was keeping track. I think nine or ten days since I last streamed. Oh, I feel really bad. Man. Like I thought when I would when I came home um back to America, it would be less busy and I would have like a better grasp on free time. I still don't. I still don't to this day. I have to I have to fix that. Definitely. Um, but at least I have an excuse this weekend because Yeah. It is it is a release day for a very special game that is very special to my heart and I'm so excited to play, which is why I started about an hour early, so if no one's here, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, man I've I just really I've really wanted to play this so the the excitement was too much to bear and I was like all right I need to set time aside I need to make free time I want to play Armored Core 6 I'm here we're playing Armored Core 6 <sighs> but yeah uh, I'm thankfully I'm okay uh a lot has happened that has prevented me from like sitting down and saying all right I got time to like stream and play games and such and I'm still figuring stuff out my computer. I don't know. It's, that's a tech thing. I'm I'm a tech guy, but it's a pain in the ass. That's besides the point. Anyway, um, I hope everyone ha has been doing well because I certainly have been doing well. <sighs> and I'm gonna be doing really good today. I tell you what. Uh, for those who don't know, actually, because this is kind of important to say. Uh, Armored Core 6, the way that they've been releasing it is it comes out on consoles at the same time everywhere. So it comes out on consoles at uh, at midnight local time, regardless of where you are. So for where I am, that would be uh, midnight, which is four hours from now. But the way the PC release works is it's all it's all at the same time. So I, I think it's I think it's midnight GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. So for me, it actually came out about two hours ago. Mind you, I did not boot it up until just now. So uh, I'll have to work that out as I go. But I really, 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 really want to play this game. And I'm glad that it actually launched a bit earlier than I was expecting. So we get to have fun with this now. I get to have a lot of fun with this now. Oh, boom. Get notifications and all that. Let me make sure that, uh, yeah, these still work. Okay. First off, I'm streaming again. I don't know how consistently, but I really hope it's consistent. Uh, if it's not, it's fine. Who cares? I enjoy my time here. I enjoy my time doing fun stuff. And um, I got games to play now. <laughs> and by games to play, I mean exactly one game to play. But it's going to take up a majority of my time. So why not get the show on the road, huh? And, and involve ourselves in some wonderful FromSoft goodness. Because I'm sure that this game is going to be fantastic. I, I'm saying that preemptively, and I'm not pre- I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be addicted preemptively, which is why I've set three days uh, to stream this. But we're going to do this, and I'm going to play as long as I can, probably a good three, four hours at least. Uh, maybe five if I really decide to push it, if I'm really enjoying myself, but we will see, won't we? So, anyway. Let's... Play Armored Core. I can't believe I'm saying that. Let's play Armored Core. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, here it is. Here's the game. When I launched this to change settings and stuff, I was immediately taken aback by how tacky it was. Like, I, for I sometimes I forget that FromSoft, the company who is absolutely my favorite video game company of all time, also made Armored Core on top of, like, Elden Ring and Dark Souls and Bloodborne and Sekiro and all those. So seeing them do mechs, obviously they're um, partnered with Bandai Namco for this because yeah, of course. But, oh, it's so exciting. It's so, so exciting. I need to make sure that my sound settings are okay. So I probably need to adjust. Uh, I think it sounds okay. It's probably a bit quiet. So let's turn that up some. I don't want it to be too, too loud as we go. Also, I just realized I have I have keys here. Am I supposed to have keys here? Give me one second. Because uh, I'm on a controller. Full disclosure, on a controller. 
Uh, let's make sure that this is... Yep, official layout. Apply layout. Alright, that should be okay. Yep. I don't know why I'm getting uh, key controls. Actually, let me see if that's a system thing. Uh, sound set. Nope. Control settings. Input device. Device for on-screen inputs. Pad. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I must have uh, flicked that accidentally in the settings. Alright, I'll probably have to turn the master volume up some. Uh, but I can also do this. If stuff gets too loud, I can always do that as well. Matchmaking reason. I am in North America East. Enter a pilot name. Man. Let's go with my... Let's go with my proper... Um, my, my gamer tag for most things now. That's not how you spell that word. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I am excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. I have subtitles on and everything, so. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. I'll probably have to turn the Handler, down a bit. Walter, verified. Walter. Walter. Activating cerebral coral control device. <laughs> Augmented human C4621 has awakened. Look at that rocket go. Time to get to work, 621. Time to get to work. It reminds me of a I'm powering down here. your entry capsule on my signal. Is this Earth? Now, activate the AC. Oh god, that's loud, 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 that's loud. That's really loud. I hate when games do that where the menu is quiet and the game is loud. Jesus. I'm gonna turn it down then, probably like five or six. I knew that was going to happen. I hate when that happens. I don't want to skip it, though, because it's so important. Once I get sound adjusted, I never have to do it again. Are we in-game already? This is a 3D render. Descent to ISB 2262. Oh, this is Rubicon, Rubicon 3. 3. Gotcha. Complete. Your position is grid 135. Off target, but within permissible range. Off target? There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. All right. Main system activating combat mode. Yes! Oh, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, those tank controls. Give me one second. Uh, let's crank that down to like five. And then I should be able to safely bring the decibels back up to like there. Should be okay now. That was loud. I'm very sorry. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. Okay, so... Uh, I did check the controls beforehand. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to these again. Because, for for those who don't know, uh, Armored Core controls completely differently from basically every other game in existence. Like, you have a left weapon, a right weapon, a left shoulder, a right shoulder, jump, over boost, which I don't know if I have access to right now. I do not. Uh, wow, this HUD is kind of a lot. <laughs> I usually minimal I usually minimize the HUD some. There we go. Woo! Go up, go up! Okay, that's gonna get that's gonna get difficult to get used to. Ascending and descending is fluid though. Some actions consume energy and are disabled the energy is completed. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, I'm fully aware of that. 
It's been a lot of times that I've played like Armored Core 2 where I'll be in the middle of a duel with another AC and all of a sudden I'm like, why can't they use my energy? Reticle automatically targets on screen enemies. When there are multiple enemies, the enemies closest to the center of the screen will be prioritized. Move the camera to change the priority. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like this HUD. Okay, I was really not interested at first, but I like this HUD. I'm gonna run out of energy so fast. Target assist escapes your AC oriented toward the target. When enabled, your AC will automatically lock this orientation towards enemies as you approach them. You still use the camera to reach targets while in target assist mode. Alright. I like the split dodging. The missile launcher equipped to the right side of the shoulder is capable of multi-lock. Oh, it has multi-lock! I gotta go up. There you go. Oh, this one does it dead. Ooh, wait, 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 turn around, turn around. There we go. The one thing I've always loved about these games. Like, you just saw me bang into the wall. I, and yes, I do that a lot. Um, but the movement in these games, for how weird the mechs feel, is some of the most fluid movement you'll get out of, like, a shooter like this. Like, at high-level play, you can see people zooming across the map like bees. It's it's insanity. Use repair kits to repair your AC and recover AP. Repair kits can be used up to three times per mission. Oh, it's like... So they have Estus. Oh, don't worry, I know. Contaminated city. Oh, on the surface. Okay. Pardon, pardon. Hold on, hold on. Mind you, when, when Armored Core first came out, like, Armored Core 1 and, I think, 2... No, 2 was on PS2, so it had analog sticks. But when it first came out, it was D-pad movement. Like, so the floatiness of an analog stick wasn't present. So you had to you had to really make sure you were going in certain directions. Mind you, I'm sure it feels real tight on mouse and keyboard. Let's go, baby. Time to fly, 6-2. Oh, that's awesome. If we get our hands on Rubicon's coral, we'll make a killing. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to buy their life back. Wait, my brain's fried? Why's my brain fried? Enough chat, back to work. Enough chit chat. Scavenge the AC wrecks ahead and find a valid mercenary license. Whoa. Hang on, this is really cool looking. What? Okay, I'm not used to this. I'm used to like factories and open deserts. Like my my two favorite Armored Core games by far and away are, are four are uh, four answer and two. Because I grew up with two and I played um nine breaker, some of three, four for answer, a bit of five. And out of all those, four answer was my like the quality favorite for me. So seeing stuff like this is like I'm so used to not this. Is that a health bar? I let squares quick boost. I keep I keep hitting what is essentially the sprint button. Use assault boost to move rapidly in the direction the camera's facing or to rapidly approach targets, and you can cancel by hitting Checking up signals from AC Rex. Follow the markers. Alright. Uh, let's go. I instinctively want to press a different button on uh, my controller because jump is a different... <laughs> it's not really jump, it's fly up, but still. Aerial Ace. Goodbye, see you later. I'm sorry, I'm the AC from the reports. Looks like they've got shields. Good thing you've got a blade. But this one? 
Yeah, get out of here. Oh, you look at your shield. Get out of here. Nobody wants you. Pardon me. I'm going to make one last auditory decision. Uh, let's crank this down to here, and then just go to the settings one more time. It's actually fine for me, like, even at max, because of the way my PC set up, it's actually completely fine for me, but I'd rather it not peak when I'm doing stuff like this. Oh! Did it crash? No, don't tell me it crashed. I tabbed out too much, I think. Ah, uh, hold on. Did it crash, crash? Ah, that sucks. I know that newer games are unstable, but damn. I think it crashed, crashed. Man. Oh, and I have to actually get task manager. Uh, is there any way to... Hold on. I just alt F for it. There it goes. Yeah, it crashed. Damn. Why does it always happen? It's fine. We can redo that with better audio now. Uh, sad day. Hopefully, hopefully I won't be tabbing out anymore. <laughs> it was just making sure that audio was fixed. The only reason I have it full screen is because if I don't have it full screen, my uh, V-Sync and my monitor clocks it down to 30 for some reason. And it has to be at like 60. I mean, come on. This, this monitor has a refresh rate of 165 FPS, so staring at 30 frames is not good. There we go. Whoa, bright. All right. The end of the previous session, return to the tile screen, equipment might have been the same for the session menu. Failure to end mission. Yes, I know. If you don't end a mission properly, you will actually, like, from what I understand, you will get kicked out and it will go. Uh, yeah, you haven't finished this, so I don't, you don't get any rewards. It's like, okay, uh, I have to do it again? And yes, you do. All right, we already saw this. Don't tell me it crashed again. Don't tell me it crashed again. No way it crashed again. It was, it was fine for like... No, hold on. Give me a second. I want to I wanna look this up. I did look it up before. I was like, uh, is this game supposed to crash? And people were saying, no, it's perfectly stable. So, I, all I did was turn the, turn the volume down. So, give me a second. Crash after loading on main menu. Uh, how to fix the crash issue. All right, uh, one more time. And I think I'll actually switch it to borderless windowed and uh, clock my frames down just so that I can play it. <laughs> it's probably day one stability issues. Honestly, the fact that it, it, like, the fact that it's basically fine two hours after release for, for at least for me is great. <laughs> Because I'm used to it not being that way with modern video games. Alright. Yep, failure to end mission, I know. Alright. So the plan here is I'm going to switch it to uh, borderless windowed instead. Which is going to yell at me. There we go. Uh, frame rate limit, V-Sync off. There we go. Okay. We should be okay now. I really, really hope. Oh, the cutscene's rendered in 60 FPS. I have a frame counter. And it crashed. Yep, it crashed. Okay. Um... That's not good. Let me start a new game. Maybe the maybe it crashed because I corrupted something. I do not want this game to crash. 
It's going to be really frustrating if, it's, if it crashes. I'm glad I'm doing this now. But damn. All right, last try. Yep, I know. Checking save data. I think I can make a new game from the start menu. Yes, I can. All right. We are going to watch the intro cutscene again, just in case it's a stability issue with that. Keeping an eye on the frame rate, keeping an eye on the loading screen. Hmm. That is not good. That is not not good. Yeah, because it's frozen again. <sighs> All right, hold on. Let me verify the integrity of the game files, because I feel like something changed in the system files, and that's why it's dying on me. All right. Uh, let's hope this... I hope this doesn't take too long. Where is it? Verify integrity? Verify integrity of game files. There we go. Do -do -do. All right, we're going to be here for a second, so let me switch back to the chatting screen. Ugh, of course, of course. I swear. Any any time that, like, a new game releases or I'm like, oh, I'm so excited to play this because I really wanted to play this, uh, technical difficulties happen. Ugh, I can never win. I can never please you. It's fine. It's not fine, but I'm trying to make it fine as much as I can. It's already a quarter of the way through verifying the game files. Well, I think the last time this happened, what was it? It was Dead Space? Yeah, because I was trying to run a very, very high, um, high requirement game on a laptop while streaming at the same time, and it went, yeah, you're not going to be able to run this above 20 frames. Have fun, kiddo. And I looked at it and I went, okay, you know, in hindsight, probably a dumb idea to try to run that. But at the same time, I really wanted to play it. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? Sit and wait for a fix to come out? Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. I am what is known as impatient. So the goal is to play the game. And I want to play the game. We're at 60%. Let's see if there's any other... Uh... Let's see. Yep, crashing. Oh, you know, you know a funny thing? Um, a lot of the articles that you see nowadays, especially when it comes to, to like, fixing settings for games, like, 99% of the time, they're AI-generated. <laughs> It's just so terrible. Or they're advertisements from the site itself. It's like, oh, if your game is having an issue, uh, here are some fixes. You can verify the integrity of the game files. Uh, figure out your your uh, your hardware and make sure that your hardware is matched. Download our driver booster. It's like, no. I'm not going to do that. Uh, the last thing I will do, just in case, uh, is once this is done verifying the integrity of the game files, if... Uh, if it isn't fixed, then what I will do is I will check my NVIDIA drivers and see if they are updated because there is a solid possibility that they are not. And we will go from there. All right, it has been verified, so let's see if I can hop in. Please, I beg you. I beg you, Armored Core. I would love to play you. It's initializing. The fact that it crashed so early on and then proceeded to repeatedly crash has me concerned, though. 
I think it's okay, though. I'll see. In the previous session, yes, I'm fully aware. Network connection, log into the server. Yep, new game. Name myself. All right, let's hope this works. I will touch nothing. I will let the game do itself. It immediately crashed. Okay, I don't know what's up. Let me check NVIDIA. <laughs> Do we have driver updates? Uh, version... I don't know what version I have. Yeah, let's install it. Let me go back to the... Let's... Mind you, things might bug out a lot, because when you switch drivers, uh, a lot of stuff explodes. But hopefully... Things work out. Hopefully. I don't even know what version of uh, NVIDIA driver I've had before this. I update them so infrequently, that's probably part of the reason why some of my games tend to crash. Eh. Ugh. This is a this is a good computer too. It's just Sometimes I do have, uh, I do have problems with it. Either because I have too many things running, or it's like, uh, certain requirements just don't line up, and it's, and the, the PC just yells at me for it. Like, uh, what was it? When Nier Automata came out, I didn't play it when it came out. I played it, I think, two or three years after it came out. But that game has, has a hellacious reputation for being really buggy on PC. And I had to install a community it was like a community mod but it not like a workshop mod it was a completely separate community mod that you had to like put into the game files so that it could stabilize and it gave you like a, a settings menu on top of the settings menu so you could adjust it mind you this was two years after the game was out uh, sorry three years after the game was out on this same pc but for lack of a better term um, it was buggy. And I don't, I don't think it was my PC entirely, but it was definitely, definitely a factor. I really want to play this game. I'm, I'm saving face as much as I possibly can. And I will continue to save face as much as I possibly can. Because I, I am calm. I all right, let's see if I manage to fix it. I have decided to go live again. I really want to play this game, okay? <laughs> Let me make sure that everything's all stable. It is, okay. Give me one second. All right. <sighs> I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens so much. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, I think we're okay now. I think I'm not going to hedge my bets. Uh, but I am in borderless window, so I can tab out and not immediately crash the game. Uh, what I did, by the way, other than obviously update drivers, verify game files, all that, uh, there's something going on with anti-cheat, it seems. At least that's what people are saying. It took me a second to look it up, because I wasn't super confident, but it, apparently it has to do with anti-cheat. So, what I had to do was I had to use the same bypass fix that apparently Elden Ring people had to use. And all that does is allow you to boot the game up directly. And... 
while that's good and all, you can't play online. So I'm currently playing offline, which I'm fine with for now. I'd rather play the game than deal with that rigmarole, honestly. Reload! There we go. But now we can actually have fun with it! I hope, I really hope it doesn't crash when I get to Rubicon 3 again. I'd be very upset. Yep. Target lock. Let's go! I think I fired all my missiles at one target, but that's fine. I did. Everything is completely okay. Nice! Much cleaner than last time. Two repair kits remain. Yep, Major I know. Choice. I know, I know, I know. Good. Yeah, so you know it, buddy. Alright. Don't crash! Please! I beg you! If there's any hope in the world, it's that it doesn't crash. Sorry, I'm just checking something. What a mess. If we get our hands on Rubicon's coral, we'll make a killing. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to buy their life back. I'm still confused on the fried brain comment. I'm still very confused on that. Enough chat. Back to work. Back to work. Scavenge the AC Rex ahead. Find a valid mercenary license. We're illegals here. You'll need ID to operate. Alrighty. You heard the bad. We need IDs. Quick boost lets you at silly excel. Yeah, I know. We've done this same old song and dance, with my friend. Man, this gun reloads really slowly. Alright. Off we trot! Picking up signals from AC Rex. Follow the markers. We're being attacked! Unidentified AC! First Unidentified flying object in your face! Unidentified flying murder machine. Oh, hey guys. What's going on over here? Part of me just have to take a lift. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fall off. I realized I was reloading. There we go. Oh, I can't see. This is, this is very much an AC game. Wow. The nostalgia from this control scheme. Oh, wow. That actually goes quite a distance. Hey there, friendo! Steve here, and Larson. Alright, object of interest. This is where the game crashed last time. Extract the pilot data. I'll analyze it from my end. What you got for me? License code extracted from an AC wreck in a contaminated city it contains the pilot's registration data. Affiliation independent. Thomas Kirk. License expired. This one's already expired. Keep looking. The fact that this is a, it, it just hit me. The fact that this is a direct sequel to five makes me wonder a couple things. Like they didn't they didn't reboot the series at all. This is just Armor Core Six. So I'm sure it follows the same uh, same world building. Mind you, they're probably going to do it a bit more ground up just because of how long it's been. It's been nine years. What? Is that a helicopter? Oh, it is a helicopter. That's the PCA's planet side force. Why are you shooting at buildings? 
Oh, okay. Keep a low profile. Sorry. I just am flying around like a mook. I'm... You know, it's kind of difficult to keep a low profile when you're in a giant mech. G7 Hakra. License code extracted from AC record in the contaminated city. License expires in 12 hours. Corp license. Easily traced. Forget it. Damn. I love this, like, side boost mechanic. That is so flowy and nice. Drones! Not in my house. What's shooting at me? Saw fucking Schneider on the move. Rick won't be safe. Or pay safe. Wait. Is that an independent? Yep, I'm an independent, motherfucker. It's not very nice. Yeah, this rifle is okay. Did I not kill that one? There we go. Let's see about this license. Bet you this will be the one. License code, Monkey Gordo. Uh, registration number RB37, call sign Monkey Gordo, affiliation independent, 15 days. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. Damn. I've picked up one more wreck, 621. Transmitting marker. Go and check it out. It's up that way. Knew it. All right. I did not mean to do that. Hey there. Alright, let's see we whoa. While standing in a vertical catapult, perform a jump to quickly reach up to high places. You can use that vertical catapult. <laughs> Alright. Skitter up! That's I love it. overboost. Try it used to be funny thing with overboost, it used to be like in the older games, a bonus thing. Now it's just a movement tool. I think I think it was around three or four that they changed it from a uh, from a bonus thing to a movie tool, and you can also very easily overshoot with it. Let's check. The helicopter. Okay. Those rockets really fucking hurt. Oh my god. I am not dealing any damage to this thing. Well, I am, it's just not enough. Ow! Holy shit! I'm aware. We go. 
you have to overload the system. I'm trying, buddy! 30%? Oh shit! Ow, 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 ow. I'm overheating. Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, come on! I had that in the fucking bag, dude! Yeah, restart from the checkpoint. Ah, oh, that was almost first try! Apparently, I, I couldn't use my laser blade after a bit. That's it. Try accessing the rack. I almost had it! So I have to work on the overheating system. Because that's how I'm dealing damage, is by making it overheat. Registration. Hey, buddy! You kicked my ass, and I almost kicked yours. Ow! That's a big ass helicopter, gonna be honest with you. Oh my god, I'm working on it, handler! Walter. Walter. I know. Dude, ow! What the hell? What is doing that? I'm getting wrecked. What is doing that? What is doing that? I'm getting like, is that an EMP? Am I getting hit with an EMP? What the fuck? I didn't get hit by that at all last time. I think it was right at the end. That's it. Try accessing the rack. Don't you dare beginners luck me. I swear to God. Actually, give me one second. All right, select base, type A. Switch this to this. Switch this to this. Yes, I did just do that. And I am not sorry. That's so much better! I play Bumper Jumper, and I'm not apologetic about it. That was part of it, is I'm, I'm using it to jump around and try to stay abreast of the situation, and it wasn't letting me. What is doing that, man? is stunning me like that, man. It's an EMP. It has to be. Yeah, it has to be a fucking EMP, and I still don't know where it's coming from. God 
gotcha, bitch! EMP garbage! Get that out of here. It was doing like 5,000 AP every time it hit me with that. Heavy combat helicopter. Bastard. That's all for our work here today, 621. Here's the call sign from that license you picked up. Raven. You're kidding me. License code extracted from an AC wreck in the contaminated city contains the pilot's registration data. RB23, call sign Raven, rank F, affiliation independent, license expires in three days. Of course it's fucking Raven. Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. Of course it's fucking Raven. FromSoft, you clever bastards. Repair costs, 39. Ammunition costs, 2240. That's not bad. It probably would have been better if I didn't take so many EMPs to the face. And loot, <laughs> waste as many bullets. But it's better than nothing. Cora, a sublime substance. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. No. For a time. Coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis. Christ. A storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed forever lost. That's where that picture comes from. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return to stoke the fire. Hmm. Now, if I was anybody, I would think, that sounds an awful lot like Souls games. Just with the fire aesthetic and all that. Registration number RB23. Whoa. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. All right. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. Oh my God. Welcome back, Raven. I've returned. Looks like you passed the authentication. Raven. That's who you are now, here on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. Alright, what we got on the dossier? This notification follows restoral of access privileges. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Oh, I know, I know. Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. Yes! You stand to benefit regardless. I think they have the practice system. Uh, following features not available, sortie. Yes. Uh, AC design. Emblem acquired! And we got a new Raven, because I pre-ordered the game. Yep, this is all the pre-order parts, I think. Okay! So we can sortie uh, doing mercenary support simulators, which is basically like a... How do I explain it? So the mercenary support simulator, which I don't remember the name of in previous games, but essentially it's this list of... It's it's a list of simulations that increase in difficulty. Oh, the, some of them are puzzles, some of them are dexterity, some of them are, are just killing as much as possible in a short period of time. Um, and the faster you do it, the better reward you get for it, or, uh, the better rank you get, but you get good rewards for it if you do good. And they've been in basically every game. Customize AC assemblies using the parts you have available at the assembly menu. When assembling an AC, ensure that your build keeps with the maximum weight and EN load parameters. Alright. So we have the Turner. This is the standard rifle. 
Uh, balances rapid fire performance and firepower, making it easy to use in full auto, long selling classic popular with anyone from new corporate recruits to veteran mercenaries. Uh, deliver slashing attacks with high frequency charge to increase output and pound targets with more power. This thing shredded that helicopter. Uh, four, missile, four cell missile launch to develop life for long dynamics. Drag targets and explode on hit. And then we have the uh, pre order stuff, which I'm not going to use out of principle. Uh, we got base boosters, base FCS, base generator, and no expansion kits. But yeah, oh, it's an AC game, all right. Oh, I miss these. Hey, we can paint ourselves. Let's do a corporate military dark. Jesus. Yeah, you can get really nuts with AC painting, and I feel like in this game they've they've really taken off the gloves on what you can probably do with a lot of stuff. Uh, for now I'm gonna go with a base paint, because I'm still a base mech, so let's go with... God, if one of these looks like Nine Breaker, I'm gonna flip. Let's go with that one, that one's pretty cool. Uh, we can change the weathering pattern, like Heavy Rust. Yes. Uh, really scratched scuffed paint. Completely shiny, slightly damaged, a little more damaged, a little more damaged, really damaged. A little dirty. Uh, we'll go with... Slightly black scuffed. Uh, this is the pattern design. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. So many patterns. That one looks good. That's a, maybe a little too much, though. Uh, all units... Yeah, we can change the way our guns look, too, which is very, very nice. Uh, let's have everything match for now. Left back unit. Yep, yeah, alright, let's have everything match for now. I think that's fair. Save and quit. Dackles. Apply, al apply emblems in your possession to user created images to your AC from the decals menu. Can we apply them anywhere? Or... Okay. Uh, so we have a salamander, a cat, a knight... Wheat. Bullets. Grenades. Oh, yes. Raven. Uh, is this on the top of my head? Schneider? Oh, are these the companies who supply parts? In this game. Yep, Takigawa. Schneider, huh? <laughs> Everybody loves the shark decals. Ace of Spades. Oh, that looks like... What is it from Armor Core 2? Nervicord? Something like that. I need to play Armored Core 2 again. That's, that's like, that's the game I grew up with, so... The fact that memory fades me on what the hell that was called. I think it was Nervicord. Alright. Yeah, that's on top of the head. So, for, uh, for the top of the head, let's at least put the Raven on. We also can do custom decals. And I'm guessing put them anywhere... We can put them anywhere. Okay, that adds a ton of creativity. Oh, man. What is user? I wonder what user is. Can you add, like... If you can add pictures from... Oh, image editor. Combine preset pieces to create original image from the image editor menu. Created images can be applied to ACs as decals or use as emblems. If online, you can upload images you've created to receive a share ID that can be shared with other players or download other players' shared images. Oh, it's like... Okay. So this reminds me heavily of... Uh, what was it? Black Ops and Black Ops 2 emblem creation? And even 3? It reminds me of Call of Duty Emblem Creation. Oh, you can save. Yeah, we can save our assemblies here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Why is the game lagging? Alright, it's hiccuping. Hold on. Game's hiccuping. I don't know why. Stabilize, you motherfucker. Whoa, why is it hiccuping? Uh, maybe when we sortie, it'll fix itself. 
Yeah, I know encoding's overloaded. Oh god. Um Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's just let's just do an AC test. Maybe that'll fix it. Oh, come back to me. Come back to me. Oh, yeah, I don't know what was happening there. Here we are. Use your AC to test the functionality and behavior. Uh, during the test run, open the pause menu. Yep, I know. All right, back to it. I don't know what I opened, but it was really, really having a, having an issue there. And this is just testing movement, testing abilities, making sure that like targeting systems are good. That plus uh, some of the like the FCS and the and the radiators and stuff will affect how uh, how effective like your your lock on targeting stuff is and how good your overboost is and how much energy you have and all that. So this is a good place to test it. All right, quick test. Oh, we can. Oh, wait. No, hold on. We can add enemies. Uh, supply refresh. Yeah, let's do bipedal MPs. There we go. Hey guys. Get yourself some over here. Destroy all MTs within the area. There are a lot of bleep loops as well. Ow. Okay, okay, we can quit now. Because they're just gonna keep spawning. <laughs> Alright. Uh, training, learn basic, learn AC controls and base attack to spy mercenary support simulators. Uh, replay missions we've already completed. Illegal entry reward. Oh yeah, so you can get a higher reward. Uh, learn to pilot an AC, master fundamental battle techniques from the training menu. Complete the exercise using the training AC, uh, to earn standardized training parts used for instruction. I will absolutely do that, because free parts are free parts. Land shots of moving enemies, you must pull the trigger while they are in with unlock on range, where target tracking is active. Uh, rapid fire right hand weapon. Ooh, I like whatever weapon this is. Hopefully its reload isn't terrible. Slap! Weapons with magazines will automatically reload when the magazine's ammunition is depleted. Manually reload before engaging the enemy to minimize the risk of your attacks will be interrupted by reload. Oh, you can manually reload it. So if I shoot it, and then I hit... Is it... Oh, it's triangle, then the weapon. Okay. So holding triangle enables the reload. And then you hit the actual... Use missiles under the harming rounds to keep the enemy on screen until lock on completes and then fire. Some missile weapons are capable of multi lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously while holding the input for the weapon. Well, let us do just that then. Oh, it's the warheads. These are fun. Here we go. Multi lock! Nice. What chess piece is that? No way. Oh, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the like stabby bit out the front. Melee weapons equipped to the left hand require a risky close range approach, but have high attack power impact and are used for destroying shields. Yeah, it doesn't have the like the what I would call like a flagpole. Excuse me. Flagpole out the front front, but that is very similar to one of the AC2 uh, starting chests. Hey there, friendo! I have a question for you. Do you like rockets? I'd hope so. You can detect nearby enemies or containers that hold AC parts by scanning. Interesting. Oh, I didn't see him. 
think that missile hits him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you too. Give us another one. Give us another one. Yeah. Oh, they were too far away. Missiles went too far. All right. Clean as a whistle. Absolutely clean. And we got the blood low for that, which is immediately going on. Machine gun developed by Balam has excellent rapid fire output, but somewhat lacking in firepower when used alone. Shines in double trigger builds, whether using two of this weapon or in combination with another. Sadly, you cannot equip both. But yeah, immediately upgrade, because that rifle was fine, but it was also pretty weak. Oh, is that the only training mission? Yeah, okay, so you unlock them as you go. Chapter 1, destroy artillery installations or clean up grid. Mop up deafing, empty squads, open grid, 135. Hello! <laughs> Good to see you! I know it's been a while. Welcome, 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 welcome. Good to see you. I've been so busy the past two weeks, and I was, I was thinking that, like, I would have a better concept of time, like, managing stuff, and I, no, absolutely not, in no circumstances. But I'm back, because Armored Core, so we're here now. <laughs> Hope things have been well. Uh, store artillery installations. I have missed you too, it is okay. I'm, I tr I'm trying to get back to s proper schedule, but it's tough. Got a lot of stuff going on. What do I want to do? Uh, destroy artillery installations or clean up grid 135? Let's do the cheaper one. <laughs> Still get first. Oh, don't worry, you completely missed about uh, 45 minutes of me figuring out technical stuff, so don't worry about it. It's an open call from the Archibus Group, one of the extraplanetary corporate forces. To all independent mercenaries, this request comes from Schneider of the Archibus Group. Schneider, eh? The operation will take place in Grid 135, Southern Bellius. Your objective is to destroy an MT squad sent by Dalfon. That's okay, I'm just having a I'm I'm and happy to be at least streaming. I can't grid say again because I didn't come back, but it, I was off for nine days. ...to conduct a coral survey in the contaminated city. You, the independent mercenaries, are the key to maintaining our lead in the coral survey race. I will, probably, because I fixed, I fixed the game. News of your success. Um... I was, like, it was crashing, and there were a bunch of problems with it. I probably will be streaming both Saturday and Sunday, so... Late night, Saturday, Sunday, but still. Okay, so we are fully assembled, ready to go. Uh, none of my stats are different, just have a different gun. Let's go kill some MTs! You've got ID. Now you need a rep. Get their attention, 61. Oh, I'm on it. I'm on it, Walter. Don't you worry. Now, what I'm wondering is, because it's been a thing in previous games, if there are secret parts in each of the missions. If so... Oh boy, it's gonna be fun to dig around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a habit for, uh... We're out of bunch of late for you is still early for me, I think. Really? Because right now it's 9.16 p.m. EST, so whatever that is for you. We did, I did swap time zones pretty much completely. Is there anything over here? Let's check. Let's check out over here. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? What was that? Hi. Hi. Let's check around. Really? Nothing? Come on, you gotta show me secrets. God damn it! Alright. I'm gonna try not to spam the, the detector as much. Oh yeah, I switched my jump button. How am I? I'm doing really well. Um, I know it's I know it's been a while, but I hope you're doing well as well. Uh, I'm actually super excited because Armor Core 6 is out, so I get to play it, and it's fun. 
Mind you, I had a bunch of technical difficulties, as I have touted previously, but that's besides the point. Looks like the Archivist group hired some muscles. An independent mercenary, huh? At least they didn't send Yeah, I am an independent mercenary. They're just mass-produced Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Whoa! Wait, 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 that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad! Okay. My damned energy ran out right over the gap. I was not expecting that. Oh, you have a shield, you son of a bitch. Oh, accidentally. <laughs> no worries. Get out of here! Alright, let's see. What you got for me? Oh, more cannon fodder? Yeah, I'm kind of a veteran, bud. Focus your fire. I have fire too. A lot of it. They're called missiles. Yeah, I am. Just come to say hi to Boris and Chris. Jesus, go to bed. But thanks for stopping by. Happy to see you again. Enjoy a good rest, please. I beg you. Where, Walter? Reinforcements? More like more bullets. Oh, wait, hold on. They have shields. Zap! I see you. Zap! I see you. Those look like support drones. There you go. Goodbye. Sorry, Commander Michigan? The enemy MT squad has been eliminated. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. Alrighty. Probably come next stream. Well, I will hopefully see you then. Thanks for stopping by. That was a very easy mission. Repair costs eight. Ammunition costs six. Got most of the money. We take those. I wonder what the best possible solution to that would be. One new message. Oh, it sounds like a phone. Why? One new message. This is a notification from All Mind, the mercenary. Thank you. Exist. I will try. Registration number RB twenty three. Call sign Raven. Your return to mercenary activities has been acknowledged. Yes. Restoring access to the parts shop. Oh, <gasps> we can buy parts. We can buy parts. I can customize my mech. New exercise data added to training. Uh, so let's do that first. Uh, this VR simulator for basic mercenary training is provided by all my pilot of training craft to learn the basics of combat. All right. Now we start to get into the nitty gritty of how these mecha work. Some weapons are capable of charge attacks, which exhibit different properties and behavior compared to regular attacks. Uh, hold to use right-hand charge, and you can cancel it with triangle. Yo! I really like this mech when I'm piloting. Hey, good to see ya. How goes stream? Uh, don't worry, you missed about an hour of technical difficulties, but we're good now, so... Look on the bright side. I really like this rifle, holy shit. Please tell me I have this available forever once this is done because wow, this thing kicks. Oh, it's so satisfying. Mind you, I do have to plant myself in place to use it. Uh, ACS strain inflicted on enemies refits after a brief interval, but a portion of that strain will remain. Weapons vary in the amount of cumulative strain they inflict with most explosive impact generally. I call it overheating. Uh, use right shoulder weapon. Yeah, so that doesn't inflict a ton. That inflicts a lot. Yeah, 
I base I call it overheating because it's basically what it's doing. And it was too busy dying for the last hour. <laughs> of course. Is a tornado watch? Actually, uh, funny you mention that. There was a tornado watch, um, was it last week where I live? Which is kind of nuts, because weather where I am is mostly pretty temperate, so the fact that we're, there was a tornado that, like, touched down uh, was pretty freaky. Attacks on enemies that are unaware of your presence will inflict greater ACS strain than usual. Oh, sneak attacks! I understand. Mind you, I didn't sneak attack any of them, so... Whoops, but... Oh, that's so good! That hits so hard. Alright, what's this now? Shields equipped to the left shoulder can be deployed to reduce incoming damage and ACS strain. Oh. Or, you know, I could just not take any front load of damage and uh, just say, ah, screw you. Shield output is maximized for one to two seconds after deployment blocking to this initial guard window can help to minimize. Oh, so it's like perfect guard. Hurricane that hit my area was, oh, you, yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. It was, uh, what was it, the first? If we're talking California, because I think that's, yeah, that's California. Um, it was the first hurricane to hit, or the first tropical storm to hit Southern California in 84 years or something. Which is fun. Meteorologists need to stick to meteors. There's a tornado watch. What is it then, huh? What do I watch? You're right, they do need to stick to meteors. Let's go! That's pretty class. All right, you're about to get a charge shot to the face, bud. Goodbye! It didn't kill him. It just overheated him. All right. Please give me that gun that I was just using. Yes! It's... <laughs> Hold on a second. Did I just read that correctly? It's called the Curtis. High-speed linear rifle developed by Balam, a special type of rifle that accelerates rounds using electromagnetic propulsion. Oh, a real gun! Yes, please! Uh, boost speed low. Current load, current Elon load, those are all fine. Uh, we're still at a good weight threshold. Okay, as long as I'm not overcharging anything. Ah, weight management, you shall be my demon one day. Once I start actually customizing. Uh, sell AC parts in your possession from the sell menu. Parts are sold at purchase price and can be repurchased from the buy menu once sold. I would actually prefer to not sell parts. Because having a collection is actually better, because then you can swap out for various missions. Purchase AC parts sold by the various corporations and factions from the buy menu. More parts will be available for purchase as you progress through the story or meet certain conditions. All right, so left hand. Hey, we could have two Curtises, but I do like the slashy slash. What is this? It's a that's a handgun. That's a that's a handgun. Large caliber handgun developed by Balan. The rise of core theory introduced new kind of close quarters combat with a reprisal of handguns, which demonstrates stopping power with tremendous impact attempt potential. However, um. The range and damage up front is terrible, so I don't know about that one. When you have a railgun that hits like a sledgehammer to a stick of butter, I feel like overheating while not dead just beats dead in a sec. Yeah, that's fair. Compact two-cell dual missile launcher developed by Furlong Dynamics. Tracks targets and pincer trajectory, limiting evasive options. Model is suitable for use with lightweight builds and is capable of multi-lock. Pretty cool. Standard pulse shield developed by Takigawa Harmonix. Generally unremarkable in terms of performance, but is well balanced for its low EN footprint. Also offers a relatively long initial guard duration for ease of use. Or I could get more missiles. Do I want... If here's the question we have to ask now. Because this fires... Yeah, because this fires four missiles. 
And this is the question you have to ask yourself as an AC pilot. Like, not as a, not as a FromSoft game player, because it's totally different. As an AC pilot, do you make sure that everything dies immediately, or do you stall to win? Mind you, you can also ask this if you play Dark Souls. But do I want eight rockets or four rockets and a shield? I think I'll buy the shield just to have it and then equip the rockets. Oh dear, that's a pancake head. Oh no, it's gonna be... So this is one game where form over function doesn't apply. What the fuck? Form over function doesn't apply and stats is what you're really focused on. Like, all these AC parts look awesome, but sometimes you need to make sure that your legs can carry you. Eight rockets? Yeah. Yeah, eight rockets. I agree. Uh, but you need to make sure, like, there's a weight class, so you need to make sure that all of your parts can fit on your pair of legs, and, like, heavy-duty legs are better because you can carry more weight on top of you. But heavy-duty legs also make you slower, so that's the trade-off. Uh, did I not see any other- Oh! Bazooka! Kaboom! Bazooka! They can't kill you if you kill them first. It is my favorite number. That's a good number to have as a favorite. Mine is five. It, you'd think it would be six, but it's five. <laughs> Alright, eight rockets. I like how it shows you the, um, the manufacturer of each of these parts, too. Uh, let's go to the assembly, make sure I've selected all these so it's gonna tell me, Yup, you bought all these with the pre-order, I know! Okay, that's done. Destroy artillery installations. Destroy all Rubicon Liberation Front artillery installations. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. I like the sound of that! More money, please! Got a job for you, 621. This is an open call from the Balaam Group. One of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Oh, the ones making half my guns. Attention all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dafung. Dafung? That's how you pronounce Rubicon that? Liberation all right. Front has deployed Baus artillery throughout the contaminated city. Baus artillery. The city itself has no strategic value. We cannot allow them to hinder expansion of the Coral Survey. Show us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery. All right. Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. We want the enemy weakened. Consider it an opportunity to prove yourself. Impress us, mercenaries! So, my job here is murder, death, kill, is what you're saying. Because I'm good at murder, death, kill. I like Zero because I'm quirky and different. Problem is, I can't fire Zero rockets, so... Alright, uh, I don't need to save AC data because I'm not- I don't have a stack, stock standard loadout yet. I have basically nothing on me. Uh, extra words based on number of registered. All right, let's go kill stuff. The client doesn't care who does this job. As long as it gets done. Okay, wait, I have an important question because people have bad opinions. Oh, no. I'll answer it, but oh, no. Activating combat mode. Red, green, blue, and yellow folders, what subjects you're rocking. Uh, man, the worst part is, I'm pretty sure when I was still in school, it changed year to year. Uh, but if I remember correctly, I had math was blue. Was it? Oh, it was math was blue, science was green. English was yellow, and social studies was red. I think that was the four big ones. I think one year I swapped math and social studies. But that was the normal, that was like what I had normally. But it did change year to year. You have to sometimes add like black, brown, white, or gray to that mix too, because sometimes you can take six classes, sometimes you take seven classes. Math is red. I I don't know, I think I feel like I feel I feel 
Math can be blue and red. Science green never. Yeah, as long as science is green, I don't think that's controversial. I, th I think science being green is not controversial. History is yellow. Why did I do that? Excuse me while I use a lot of rockets. Ow! Shit! There we go. I know I have repair kits remaining. I'm working on it. There we go. That's another one down. We're clear here. Move on to the next site, 621. Next site! My friend says science is blue. Your friend is wrong. Science was never blue. Science is always green. That one, no contest. That one's just a fact of life. Hey there, idiot. You got eight rockets to the face. Excuse me one second. You want some? I'll give it ya. All right, let's head out. Ow! Bastard. Ha, <laughs> fuck you. Shot a cracker rocket at me. Oh, that's so satisfying. Clear out the artillery here, our work is over. I'm working on it, Walter. There we go, clean. Oh, you fucking asshole. All right, fine, 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 fine. Is that how you want to be? I know, I'm aware. What is with the cracker rockets, man? Stop trying to disable me. Asshole. Oh, you too. There we go. Man, this blade does a ton of damage. Oh, I didn't realize I could one-shot them like that. Oh, you want some? I'll give it ya. I'm trying to get a lot of money to compensate for the uh, lot of money that I just lost healing myself multiple times. All targets destroyed. I understand nice everything system. except science not being green. Exactly. Face. Science is green. We're done. I want to kill this man. I don't want to hug the bipod. I want to kill the bipod. Uh, bonus pay 54k, which basically paid for my expenses and gave me a little bonus on the side. Everything else I will simply yell at people for. Science is green. Science is green. No question about that. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. You have also been granted access to participate in the Log Hunt program. The Log Hunt program? We kindly request that you submit combat logs after destroying oh, designated Oh, craft. okay. All Mind will reward you with parts based on the number of submissions you provide. Hey, yo? More parts. You've been invited to join Log Hunt, all of All Mind's, one of All Mind's mercenary support programs. Discover and destroy targets marked with a Log Hunt target icon to obtain combat logs for submission. Look combat logs and improve your hunter class to receive reward parts from All Mind. Nice. Do you have new training? Nope. Uh, but I can buy more stuff. <sighs> Alright. So, normally when I buy stuff, I don't read. I just look and say, ooh, pretty. I have to read these. Medium weight. Uh, balance strategy of overwhelming its enemies. Mass reduce head part by Archibus. Uh, masterpiece in the realm of second generation AC parts. Better AP, better stability, better system recovery, higher weight, more EN load, lower boost speed. Uh, lightweight head part. Ooh, I kind of like that lightweight one. Fuller's argument is an awesome argument because there's no facts or logic. It just evolves into saying swears at other people. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally, it's an argument where there is no true answer. It's 100% opinion. So you just start screaming at each other. 
Uh, second generation booster developed by Furlong. Uh, counteract the inevitable weight increases that result from improving AC performance. Performs well in a variety of assemblies, including medium weight builds. Oh, that's just a straight upgrade. Yes, please. Uh, second generation. Developed after for long, established itself as a true missile specialist. Reduces missile lock time. Uh, increases weight to almost near the threshold. Internal combustion generator. Uh, commissioned by Balam. Demand lightweight construction match with excellent EM recharge. So it reduces my overall capacity, but absolutely whacks my recharge rate. Uh, so that's a fast recharge booster. I'll take the fast recharge booster. I think those are two very important upgrades. So if we go over here... More boost! More recharge. Nice. Without fail, talking about folders or food will always start an argument of general. Yes, food especially. It's like, how can you eat this, 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 and this way? I don't know, it's just tasty. Uh, destroy the Daffing Core Industries tester AC. Oh, it's an AC battle. Uh, destroy the Rubicon Liberation Front logistics helicopters. Gotta ask some of my friends the front. Oh, I do too. That's that's one way to stir a shit pot. Uh destroy the yeah, let's go destroy a tester AC. I wanna battle an AC. Got a job for you, six two one. It's an open call from the Archivist group. To all independent mercenaries, this is a work so I have to conserve battery have a good stream. Have a good day at work or night at work. I don't know if you work day or night shift, but either way. I will be here holding down the fort, playing with more robots, so you enjoy your time as much as possible. I will try to do the same. Thanks for stopping by. This brings me to the request. Intercept delivery of the tester AC and destroy it. Oh yeah, I got you, bud. I got you. I'm gonna intercept that AC. I got you, Archibus. I'm gonna go kill a robot. Super fighting robot! Mega Man! Current load, EM load, everything's fine. I have a faster boost speed now, which is a plus. The target may be a product sample, but it's still an AC. Stay sharp, 621. Oh, I got you, fam. Hydrate! I will. Thank you. I still hold true to that rule. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Okay, bye. Good to see you. We've got a read on the target. Now's the time, six two one. Off we trot. Oh, that recharge rate is noticeable. Yeah, you are. Hey, peek out real quick. Hey, 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 buddy, buddy, buddy. Thank you. He dodged it! Oh, have you? Have you now? Oh, ow, 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 ow. All also fighting game characters? Yeah, like, who, who do you main in this? It's like, yeah, that's another argument waiting to happen. I'm sorry, buddy. It's just mercenary work. I'm not here to kill you. I'm here to just end your life. That was a clean finish. I know, I'm sorry, buddy. Enemy AC destroyed. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. Ugh, morals, why do you exist? Why can't I just murder without feeling bad? They're designed to be equal and people will crucify you for having different- Yes, yes. Well, in certain fighting games, there are clear, uh, like, 
standout characters sometimes because of game balance and like control types and uh, zoners and rushdown and all those different buzzwords and things. But yeah. One new message. Whoever you main is like a million people hate, and whoever you don't main, um, a million people love. So it's just how it ends up. About the tester AC you downed. That was being shipped to the Red Guns, Balaam's in house AC squad. They're Balaam's main force, and its members are no amateurs. <laughs> For the most part, yeah. Remember who you're messing with. Oh, shit. So the, the question is, did they know that I just... Does Balaam know that it was me specifically who just went and killed that AC? Because I hope not. I hope that mercenaries have some degree of anonymity. Uh, let's see if I can afford any parts. Nope, just a helmet. Uh, let's see. Lower AP, but better defense and... Stability. Increases EN load. Reduces weight. I do like that helmet. Lethal League is really good with balancing. Is it really? That's that's a it's not really a fighting game, it's more of a juggling game. But I don't have that much familiar yeah, familiarity with it. So you know, I guess that makes sense, because the entire point of it is to hit a ball back and forth. Oh, this is a, uh, what was it? Schneider part, yeah. New helmet! Hunter class zero, I am aware. Destroy the transport helicopters. Helichopter. Got a job for you, 621. The Balaam group sent a request. This request comes from Dafa, one of our affiliates. The group has committed to use of military force to handle the Rubicon Liberation Front. Alright. Target for this mission is a squad of transport choppers. Destroy them. You'll encounter guerrilla resistance from Baus mass produced MTs. Baus. That's no how they pronounce concern. it. Baus. Mass produced, you say. adequately in your last sortie, Raven. This did not go unnoticed. Oh You'll no, they do know who it is. Interest to see what you bring to the team. Well, I did just take down one of your ACs before this, so sorry. It, you know. They're asking for you by name. Keep building your. I mean, yeah, you can make the argument that Lethal League is a fighting game. That's true. It, it's it. You pick a character; they have different like. They have different move sets and they do different things. So yeah, you can make an argument that it's technically a fighting game. It's just not in the sense of you're punching each other until you get knocked out. It's you're hitting a ball back and forth until someone screws up. Main system. Activating combat mode. It's like a dodgeball fighting game. In that way. Mission. Destroy the Rubicon Liberation Front transport chambers. I'm coming for you! Under yeah you are, yeah you are! i surprised you heard of Lethal League, nobody knows what it is anymore. I'm old hat. I remember Lethal League back when people were absolutely laughing their asses off about how fast you can make the ball go. And, uh, what's it? Candyman, I think his name is? The guy who looks like Pac-Man Pac -Man in a suit. He's still recognizable even today, so... Oh, that one's got a shield! Mind you, I'm playing a fucking armored core. I'm old hat. Armored Core has been around for decades. See, I know, I know games. Lethal League isn't that old either. God, I love this rifle. It does so much. Confirmed. Target destroyed. Oh, it's so good. Hey guys. Yeah, no, you're not. Hate to be that guy, but. The coral is with us. I'm sorry, what is now? 
Oh, they. Ooh, that's why. I'm getting hit by a Gauss. Candyman is awesome. Ain't no one like a fucking beat. It blocked it! I'm gonna have to laser it. Oh, it has one too! Yeah, ACS overload. Oh, ow, 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 ow. I'm working on it. You motherfucker. Woo! Oh, that was a heavy MT. What, am I supposed to avoid it? I ain't playing like that. I'm a veteran. Alright. Looks like you got them all. I cleaned up. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. Having those repair kits is actually helpful though. That is that is not a classic armored core thing at all. That is a that is a FromSoft thing, or a more more in line with Souls likes. But it's a nice catchback when you get hit by something that absolutely wipes your AC to the floor. So bonus pay seventy one two. Yeah, I got a good payout for that. My expenses are still high, but oh, is that log on? Oh, it was log on. That was a log hunt, AC. Or, not AC. Walker. On my first day back in school, I made Candyman, but a JoJo character. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, well, well. Handler Walter. The way your hound's been up in my business, I'm Anatomy does suck. To call. Michigan, about my proposal. Yeah, you sure about that? I'll be working your hound just as hard as any other red gun. Gen 4s can be emotionally withdrawn. They need a shot in the arm every now and then. Hmm. And you got a deal. I'll send Volt to Iguasu. They'll give your latest hound a proper red gun welcome. Are we getting handed over? That's what it feels like. I think we're getting handed over. We shall have to see. One new message. Is it all mind? I oh, it's Walter. Back, six, two, one. The corpse see the Liberation Front as a hindrance to expanding their coral survey. The shading is very JoJo. To the I see what you mean. Okay. Their actions are only helping yeah, I, I can. I get a picture in my head of what you're talking about. It's just a job, six two one. All of it. They do the anime thing of not having spine. Yeah, it. Whoever whoever decided to make spines in like. Shown an anime, it's they're it, they're made of jello. They're made of jello. They don't have spines. It doesn't exist. Uh, first rifle developed by Baus consumes kinetic ammunition. Develop a reliable defensive potential. I will eventually want to clean the whole shop out. Uh, medium weight arms still under the threshold, right? Yep, better AC, better defensive performance, better AP, not AC. Uh, reduces missile lock on. Slightly increases weight. Let's do that. Better lock on is always good. Alright, also, these don't have a direct influence on my uh, general play. It's more of weapons. So. Attack the dam complex. Uh, attack the Rubicon Liberation Front dam complex. I saw that and I saw the price and I went, wow. Uh, attack the Rubicon Liberation Front's dam complex and destroy all generator facilities accompanied by friendly craft. Sure, I'll take an assist. Got a job for you, 621. As always, Walter. You're joining an operation planned by Balaam HQ. Check the briefing. But you're gonna say, like, I hate whoever created spines. I mean, yes, but. Yeah. 
they they just don't listen. exist in most shonen anime most of the time. Balaam's moving in on the Galleon Jesus. Dam complex, one of the Liberation Front's bases. The objective is to destroy their lifeline and make those sacks of shit big for mercy. I'll be sending two good-for-nothing maggots from the Red Guns, Gun 4 Volta and Gun 5 Iguasu. Alright. You? You're just gonna be tagging along on ass-wiping duty. Okay. That's not I'm nice, Michigan. You call sign, Gun 13. A lucky little number that just became available. Gun 13, sound off! Good enough. Now go I can't ready. sound off! We're going on a field trip, Kyle. I'm mute! Alright, Michigan. Gun 13, Raven. Gun 13? So we got Gun 4 and Gun 5. Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. Don't I would too. Red guns teach you bad manners. Such as? Bad manners? What do you mean bad manners? All I know how to do is shoot things. Service in room sucks because so I can't send Jojo Candyman with my profile pick in Discord. Oh, I'll check after then. Balaam Group AC Squad Red Guns reporting for duty. Commence mission. Attack! Get in there, you maggots! Great. An independent merge. Who's the wise guy who decided the Red Guns should be taking care of some free guns? I will be doing all of the work, Gun 4 and Gun 5. You just wait. No, no one did tell me why we're here. Oh, really? Is that how this goes? Oh my god, Michigan does not play around. I need I need more EN capacity. That is that is problem number one. I am discovering. I boost around too much. Mind you, this rifle kicks ass. I'm so glad I did that training exercise. This thing is so good. Keep up, assholes. Taking your sweet time. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, that's an AC. Oh! I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were an AC, buddy. Oh, man. He does take a beating, though. Oh, my lock on, man. Oh wait, I'm shooting at my ally. Whoops. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Burn pickaxe? What do you mean burn pickaxe? Oh, he dodged the rockets! Lucky fucker! Oh, you suck! You kill and plunder! We just pick up your pieces. Father Domayan. Who now? Confirmed. Enemy AC destroyed. Gun 13. Guess you're not just tagging along anymore. Nope. Now hurry up and destroy that stinking old dam. We've got a job to do here. 
I wasn't tagging along to begin with. You were tagging behind me. Taking your sweet old time. Nice. I did more work than either of them combined. <laughs> Basically wiped that AC out too. This game reminds me of Xenoblade Chronicles, what is happening? Um, big mechs with weapons and swords go kill things and then you get paid for it. I didn't get any bonus pay? It was just flat cost. Come on, you gotta give me a bonus for doing all the work. Man, they, they really stole that from me. <laughs> I bet, I bet he split the pay three ways. One. If not paid them more because they're higher ranked, assholes. <laughs> you got lucky, Merc. Okay. You were the only warm body they could find. The red guns are going to be first over the wall. Have fun watching from the sidelines. Wow. I don't know what I did to you, but your agenda... Fuck off. Alright, let's buy some more parts. Um, should I start buying more weapons? I do want to buy this burst rifle. It seems really interesting. Actually, let's buy the handgun while we're at it, too, so I have it. Uh, let's equip the burst rifle quick. And then do a quick AC test. So that way I can see if this thing shoots and bursts. Or, correction, how effective it is. Okay, so it fires really slowly. Have I considered min weight, max speed, only swords? That is actually a loadout, yes. Uh, you could put two laser blades on and then just... There's, if I'm, if I remember correctly, I hope they're in this game. But there are certain, uh, there are certain leg types where it's not even legs. It's just jet boosters strapped to, strapped to plates on the bottom. So you don't even stand, you just float all the time. And you can essentially hyper dash towards something, fully charge your laser blade, and then just whack them to death until they fall over dead. That is actually a playstyle, yes. It's not comedic, you can actually do that. Alright, let's, uh, let's spawn some enemies quick. Standard tetrapod MTs. Let's see how this thing works. Oh! Oh, wait, I spawned a tetrapod. I was like, oh yeah, that's why I'm not doing a lot of damage. Also, wow, this... Yeah, I just got cracked! This has absolutely no uh, ACS strain. But it does. Jesus Christ! There we go. Yeah, I don't know about this thing. Uh, let's try that without, with uh, bipedal. Actually, no, let's try trainer AC. Let's resupply. Oh, it does have really good AC drain. AP, uh, yeah, ACS drain. It's a bit slow though. I like the, I like the big rifle. I got cracked. Oh, get back here. Get back here. Two repair kits remaining. There we go. Yeah, I don't really like this rifle. All right. Well, we tested it and it's not great. So I like the Lydia rifle a lot more. It, it absolutely whacks ACS drain. Alright, keep that 
stock standard. Let's go do another sortie. Destroy the weaponized mining ship Strider, a key military asset of Rubicon Liberation Front. Got a job for you, 621. This one's a request from the Archivist Group. Raven, this request comes from Schneider, an Archivist subsidiary. Really? The mission will take place in the Bona Dea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider. Much as I love to stay and chill and maybe awake in seven hours at least when I kind of fix up my sleep schedule. No problem. That is absolutely fine. Um, I'll probably be I'll probably be around for another. Uh, I'm actually starting to feel kind of tired, and the technical difficulties kind of screwed me over. So I'll probably keep playing for another thirty-ish minutes, and then I'll probably call it too, because. It is still a weekday, you know, I want to get up to. Saturday and Sunday, though, Saturday and Sunday, do not care in the world, so we're probably going to be playing this a lot. But yeah, um, have a good rest, enjoy your nights, and try to wake up on the right side of bed tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck. Alright, here we go. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Ah, oh, yeah. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. This sounds like a boss fight. I'm ready. I do not want to get up. Trust me, I feel that, but it is a thing that is a thing you have to do. Yeah. Main system, activating combat mode. Remember, there's always the weekend. Holy shit. Oh, hey! Adios! Oh my dear god! That hit me almost immediately and did a ton of damage. Not good. Oh god! I think I need to overboost dodge that. Hang on, hang on. Hey, fuck off! That's exactly what I need to do. Jesus, man! I'm not even close to the thing. There we go. Yeah, you have to you have to overboost dodge past. I'm wasting my time. All right, now you're up close and personal. Take out one of its legs and bring it to halt. Oh, well, not truly. There we go. Legs down. Yeah, this is a boss fight. Wow, this thing's big. Wow, this thing is big. Oh, hey, buddy. Sorry, I didn't see you. Holy shit, it went down, down. Subgenerators? Oh, it's less of a boss fight. I'm actually going to restart. Yeah. Because I lost a lot of health trying to get past the laser. Main system, activating combat mode. I'd rather not go down with the ship. First, get through all that dust I was having too much fun charging up my, my linear rifle. Cubs. Ooh, it still fucking hit me somehow. Picking up a surge of energy to the eye. Watch out. Get out of the 
bad boy. Okay. Somehow that worked. Is a, an MT up here? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's still firing rockets at me, motherfucker! Excuse me, one moment. There we go. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, we took out the entire leg. Did not see that on first pass, because I was focused on how low my health was. <laughs> oh, sorry. There we go. We're up. Yeah, I definitely need more energy. Holy. It's not like I don't have a lot. It's... I use too much. No, I ain't. Decouple the rear. Nope. No, you cannot. Oh, hey, guys. We found our first one. Oh, I have to go around. Oh, I see. Yeah, I probably don't want to touch that. Or go anywhere near that. Or any of the equivalent. Got one. Destroyed. Three to go. Gonna run out of AP. Yep. Not AP, Ian. Jesus, I can't get my terminology straight. Why did I do that? Oh, it one shots! Yeah, you did. Remember the hardships that made us. Remember that when Rubicon burned. Wow, they've been around that long? Ready, really, truly? They've been around for that long? Jump pad! Yes, please! Oh, come on. There we is. Hey, guys! Laser beam! <laughs> uh oh, hold on. Oh, uh, laser beam. Kaboom! Just that you are. Welcome in, by the way. I will destroy you and everything you stand for. What now? Is there a platform down here? Yes, there is. Oh, that was bad timing! That was the worst timing! That was horrible timing. Gotta go, gotta go. Yes, it has. We're not through yet. Show them our pride. There we go. Drop another one. Coming on back up. Oh, rockets! Oh! Abide with Robocon. 
You lucky sons of bitches. I got I got shredded. They they fired out one volley and I wasn't prepared for it. Oh man. Alright. Go, go, no, 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 go down, go down, go down! Get the fuck down! I had my little hidey hole over here. Ugh, controls, man. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down! Here comes the missiles. I have a Twitter? Yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, I can do this very easily. I think I still have it as a uh, thingy thing. There it is. <laughs> I remember when I updated it. There you go. If you'd like to go visit my Twitter. Thank you for inquiring. No, don't restart. Yes, it is. Because I'm a god! Uh oh. Did I kill it? I did. I got it. Yeah, baby! We've done it! Oh, should I? Yeah, I need to clear out. I'm on it! How far out do you want me to go? Oh, that way. Okay. Is it land? Is it land? Oh, wow. That just erupted. That just completely erupted. I did that! Me! Mission complete. I was not prepared for the rocket volley that <laughs> that almost took me out completely. Jesus. All right, what now? You must be the handler, I presume, for the independent mercenary Raven. Honored to make your acquaintance, V2 Snail. V2 Snail. I understand you want to join Operation Wall Climber. You do realize that disposing of some Liberation Front garbage hardly qualifies you. Know your place, you meager dog-sitter. The answer is no. Wow. I hear you're deploying V1 again. Must be rough only having one good pilot to rely on. Oh. Are you suggesting your dog can take Freud's place? You'll see. Just give us the chance. Very well, then. We're also deploying V4, who's been equally brazen of late. Let's see how they both perform. Wow, all right. Something's going on. And we're apparently trying to involve ourselves in a big operation. Or whatever that's worth. Will I get paid? That's all I care about, will I get paid? Deserves commendation. You're welcome, Archibus. I am thrilled to have issued you the request. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Archibus Group's mercenary liaison. V8 Pater, at your service. Oh, it's he's part of the V Group. I think I'll enjoy doing business with you. 
Nice to meet you, Pater. 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 Next is added, added to training. Parts are available to purchase. Yay, we hit a new threshold! Uh, laser. That's an EN shortfall. Okay, so that's my first EN shortfall, which means I don't have enough um, energy capacity to even use it. Let me charge the amplify its power. Damn! <gasps> Wait, that looks like the. Um. Oh, what was it called? It's not. What? Oh, it was like the Kawakura or something like that. It's a weapon that's in every AC game. I wonder if it's in this. We'll have to see. It's the probably the strongest weapon in any of the games. It's like the Moonlight Greatsword for the Soul series. Laser cannon! I love the dual laser cannon builds. If I can manage it, I'm going to do it. Uh, medium weight core... Part developed by Balam. Simple design and solid performance. This model make it suited for mass production. Does it increase my EN load? No, it reduces it. How do I increase my EN my EN load? Better licks? No. We do have another set of fast legs, though. Which drops. They are completely worse. Oh, exceptional jumping. But they're complete stat wise, they're completely worse. I lose AP, I lose alt I lose attitude stability, I lose load limit. Wow, that's terrible. Alright, I'm going to buy can I buy the two laser? No, I don't have enough. Alright, we'll come back. We'll come back. Uh, but before that, we have some training missions to do. Ooh, I like this mech. One way to assemble an AC is to install ranged weapons to both hands. This is known as the double trigger style. Among veteran pilots, double triggered assemblies using machine guns and similar weapons can destroy enemies at reliable pace and are suitable for taking on multiple at once. Yeah, I remember this very distinctly. This is fun. Also, wow, the EN capacity on this thing. That was fast. Mobility of an AC is greatly influenced by its overall weight and the type of boosters installed. This AC is fitted, fitted with boosters that have a, sh a short QB reload time spec, which allows it to outspace enemies with consecutive quick boost usage. Yeah, these are fast boosters. Uh, the generator installed to your AC greatly influences the rest of the assembly from the selection of usable parts to the basic performance. This AC is equipped with a generator that prioritizes EN capacity in order to allow extensive use of aerial maneuvers and quick boost. That's why it feels so good. Yeah, I need to be fast. That's, that's what I'm going to have to figure out. How to get fast. The FCS installed the AC affects multi targeted tracking at close, medium, wrong lane, mo bleh long range and missile lock on multi-lock time. This AC is equipped with an FCS that is specialized for close range, allowing it to reliably land attacks with its high firepower weapons. Oh, that thing. Got it. Ho ho ho, it's like a shotgun. That's cool. I like this AC a lot already. Uh, this AC equipped with four range weapons specialized in concentrated fire and medium range overall. So it's a medium ranged AC. That makes a hell of a lot of sense. It's not close range. It's not long range. It's very medium. Hey, a shotgun blast. Shotgun blast! Give it. There we go. Yeah, this AC is really fun. It's very fast. Let's see what we get. Uh, fast jets. New part. Oh, it's all the internals. All right, let's see. So, we just got 
A new set of boosters. Specialized for initial thrust. Extremely high evasive performance when used as part of a lightweight assembly. Uh, oh wow, that's a way better boost speed. Yes. Uh, this will kill the close range combat SCS. Reduce missile lock time. Compromises missile performance to instead focus on precise targeting assistance. I don't think that'll be necessary for me right now. That's what we're looking for. Uh, circulating current generator developed by Arcbus. Tailored to lightweight ACs such as those built by Schneider. Efforts are made to keep its weight modest while providing capable output for its size. We get better capacity uh, with a worse recharge and a worse supply recovery. This is fast charging. This is overall lower weight. Actually, yeah, I want a higher EN load. Oh! Oh, it whacks my EN load. Look at that, um, the arrow in the bottom right. Right here. It completely whacks my EN load. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. That's what I want. Alright, now I can go buy parts at the shop. Uh, let's see. Charging the weapon causes the plasma fire to scatter. Oh, it's a boom rifle. Let's buy the boom rifle. I want to test it. I still really like the linear. But I want to test the boom rifle. Uh, training. Yeah, we're going to have to do that one too. Uh, but I do want to AC test quick. The, the linear is still king, because it basically one-shots most MTs, but I want to see what this thing does. Oh, it's like a plasma bazooka! And it has an overheat time. Uh, let's see, enemy settings, let's do some... Uh, bipedal MTs. First things first, multi-lock. Yeah, so I would have to sacrifice the ability to sh shoot a lot of the small ones to instead be able to do that. Ow! Yeah. That's kinda nuts. It has a long cooldown, but that's kinda nuts. Kaboom! Has a very nice area of effect as well. Oh, I know. Come on, if I can get, if I can get in an R2 spot. Good tracking, not for nothing. Oh, you motherfuckers. That's what you get. This thing hits hard. Its cooldown is really aggressive, though. One more time. Yeah. So it's less... So it leans a lot harder into the f the one shot potential. I don't know how. If oh, I should have tested on ACs. All right, before I do that, let's do reverse jointed the reverse jointed test. Because more free parts is always nice. All right, reverse joint leg units excel at jumping, and it can also leverage their leg strength to improve quick boosts. These leg units are also capable of high jumps that do not consume energy, making it easier to achieve aerial treats and shift to aerial combat. Oh yeah, they're like frog leaps! Wow, they jump really high. We're also using a laser weapon. Left shoulder grenade cannon on this AC fires explosive rounds that cause area of damage upon impact. When using weapons of this nature, you can exploit area damage to great effect by firing at the ground from an aerial position. Ah! Oh. Unless I get fucking cracked. 
All right, okay, you can stop cracking me. It's all, it's, uh, this is all plasma setup plus the, the shoulder cannon. Oh, my energy's down. Also, interesting design they got here. I really like the other AC because it was super fast. Uh, weapons fall into one, three categories. Kinetic, explosive, and energy. The defensive performance of ACs and other craft varies for each of these damage types. Right. So that one has low energy defense. That one has also low kinetic defense. That one probably has low explosive defense. Energy weapons produce heat when fired, and this can ultimately result in overheating. When overheated, the weapon will be temporarily disabled. The functionality will be regained once the weapon has been allowed to cool. We did just test that with the laser bazooka. Avoid overheating by monitoring your rate of fire. Okay, so the shield guys are susceptible to laser attacks, which is why it recommends using the, uh... Why I recommended using the... Laser... Uh... Fucking laser sword. Ricochet will occur when enemies have high defense, significantly reducing the damage they take. To counteract this, try attacking at closer range or switch to explosives. Nice! Nearly there, nearly there. Oh, is it still cooled down? It is. It was still reloading. There we go. When you combine everything together, you get a pretty decent mech. All things considered. Especially when combining energy and... Uh, oh, it is the... It is the crack rifle. I'm gonna call it the crack rifle, because that's what it feels like it does whenever it hits something. It goes crack! Alright, so we got... Did we get the the arm? The over-the-shoulder cannon? What did we just get? It was a weapon, right? Yeah, it was. Oh, it was the handgun. Miniaturized laser rifle. This energy weapon offers unparalleled ease of use. Fires and bursts when charged. Was that what we're using? Uh, let's throw back on the linear. I don't want to keep the laser rifle on for now. Uh, oh, new parts in the shop. Really? Oh, the actual laser rifle. So it gives you a laser pistol and it sells you the rifle. Excuse me. Sells you the rifle. All right. Operation Wall Climber. Alright, I think this will be the last mission we do. Uh, but I do want to test... I do want to test the... Um... The laser rifle... Against an AC. See how effective it is. Because if it is... If it's not that effective... Then I'll use it situationally, but if it is effective, it will directly replace uh, my crack rifle. All right, system. Oh, it's enemy settings. All right, let's start with the trainer AC. Let's go. Not as effective as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I can already see it's not that susceptible. I got a lot of mileage out of the laser rifle. Ah, yeah, bitch. Oh, it has a, he has a, he has the rifle too. There we go. It's good for stuns, but not that good. Let's uh, let's try it with uh, my rifle instead. Resupply. Start with a new trainer AC.
Oh, he fucking dodges it, though. There we go. Yeah, it works. It works both as a charge rifle and a normal rifle, so that's probably why it's good. You lucky son of a bitch. Ah. I like the quad missiles. Very fun. Ha, you bitch! Oh, he stunned me too. Oh, and did the same thing! There we go. Yeah, I like it for, for its utility uh, after you stun something. That plus it just one-shots half the empties. All right, Operation Wall Climber. This request comes straight from Archibus headquarters. They want you to assist with a mission the corporations are calling Operation Wall Climber. This is V2 Snare, leader of the Vesper Second Squad. I will chair the briefing for this mission. This is an operation of my own design. Consider it a privilege to be called to participate. You will be attacking The Wall, a key trading outpost fortified by the Rubicon Liberation Front. Hmm. The rabble have formed a defensive line comprised of artillery and MT squads. Break through the line, then make your way to the top of the wall. There you shall find the Juggernaut, a mobile heavy artillery platform. Destroy it. Got it. V4 will also be participating in this mission, infiltrating through a separate route. However, be aware that Balaam has also taken a crack at the wall, only for their vainglorious hopes to be dashed. Wait, is... Try not to die like a dog out there. Wait, did G4 go down? G4 went down? Alright, let's go with what we got. Your objective is to take the Liberation Front the wall. Show them you're worth the credits. Six two one. I think I am. I think we got this. I believe in a thing called mercenaries. Main system. All right, here we go. In combat mode. We'll start by clearing the way for Archibus. Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city, and the bows to Trapod MT further in. There's heavy fire coming from up top. Six to one. Oh, there's MTs. Hi. You'll never climb the wall. Whoa, why did I just get absolutely stunned? What the hell? Oh, that's why. Jesus! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. What? 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 Oh, I have to get behind them. One thing at a time. Hopefully you guys can get the cannons up top. Shisa. One repair kit remaining. Ow, motherfucker. There we go. Pardon me, just killing some cannons.
That gets rid of a lot of the problems. I could go for a 100% kill mission, but I don't want to explore the entire wall just for that. Quarters, you say? Do you read me? This is V4 Rusty. You're fast. Guess you're sharper than they say. I'll have to step up my own game. Remember, Vesper is an elite. But remember, even Balin couldn't crack the wall. There we go. Don't count on him too much. Oh, I cross mapped you. Yeah, you are. Oh, I had an ACS break. Fuck. I didn't take advantage of it. Oh, I walked into that. Yeah, I walked into that last one. What's up here? up top. I have no health kits to deal with it, though. Alright, here we go. Sherpa. Man. Resupply. Does it give me all my stuff back? Let's see. Yes, it do! Full supply of replenish. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely a boss. It's rusty. You must be Raven. One of the infamous handler Walter's hounds. Oh shit. Big tank. You ready to climb the wall? You know it, buddy. Let's get this shit done. Woo, I'm glad I dodged. Oh, what? Oh dear, oh dear. I just realized I'm getting rammed. Oh, he's gonna ram again. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Goodbye. Oh, motherfucker! Fucking lucky bastard. Shit. Come on. Stop backing yourself into a corner. And let me kill you. What? I got ACS burned? There we go. I 
have no idea where I'm taking damage from. Also, wow lag. Almost there. Is it burn damage? Is that where I'm taking damage from? Oh, I'm not, I'm not in, I'm not underneath it. Oh, get your ass over here. You motherfucker. Why is it so fast? Dude! Yeah, no shit, because it kept... Oh, you ass. Yeah! You asshole! First try. That's what we like to do. Woo! Confirmed. Very little health left. But I still did it. Oh, my lag. I am so sorry. I just realized how bad the frame rate is. Jesus. Mission complete. Yeah, that fight, wow, that fight tanked my frame rate. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Nice. And I got paid pretty handsomely. Let's see what the bonus was. Uh, heavy MTs, light MTs, artillery. Oh, the yeah, the artillery bonus. Paid for basically all my expenses, so I got flat paid for that. I will take that. I will take that. We're war buddies now. I think I should tell you something. During Operation Wall Climber, Archibus was planning to sacrifice you. The plan was to use independent mercenaries to clear the way so that the Vespers could step in and take over. Really? But instead, you took the wall. The higher ups are going to remember you now, that's for sure. As will I. Good talking with you, Rusty. All right. New parts and new exercises. Let's see what new missions we have. Wow, we're still not in Chapter 2 yet. Wow, we're still not in Chapter 2 yet. A pulse gun? Destroys target with sustained high-frequency oscillation. Uh, canceling out pulse defenses. Ooh. Uh, laser blade. Oh, a new laser blade? Uh, homing missiles. Which is pretty nice. Requires how powered payloads propulsion systems deliberately slow down. Missiles hound targets during lengthy airborne time, enabling heavy pressure tactics. This is fun, and I know exactly what kind of playstyle this is. So it's slow moving missiles, where instead of instead of fast tracking, where they go straight at the target. It slows down. It's basically a high-powered warhead, so you're you can pincer attack. You can send a, you can lock on, send a send a missile towards an AC, and then come from the other side, and the, and they can't escape the missile and you at the same time. So you can clinch them and absolutely wipe the floor. Very very fun. Oh, we got tetrapod and tanks. Very fun. Tetrapod leg parts developed by Arctopus. Designed from an existing model, intended for tetrapods deployed alongside Archibus' bipedal and reverse joint ACs, focused on mobility. It also increases uh, your total weight capacity, right? Yeah, it increases your load. Mind you, it whacks the EN load, but look how much more load you have with, uh, with the tank. The tank is always high load. Uh, new booster. Long distance cruising maximizes assault boost thrust and energy efficiency to provide excellent performance with rapidly closing in on a target from long range. Oh, assault boost. How come it's not in the stat package there? Weird. Uh, generator, new generator with really high EN output and capacity. Wow. 
No wonder it's expensive. Jeez. Uh, and then we have two new training missions, tetrapods and tanks. Alright, so I will stop here. Um, I was expecting to go further than that, but yeah. Oh, it's... It's so nice to play an Armored Core game again. This game is is just exactly what I was asking for. It's just another Armored Core game, and I haven't played one of these in a while. For most people, it's very, like... Um, it's very generic, I guess? I don't know. It's not as, like, involved, quote-unquote, as something like uh, Dark Souls or Elden Ring or anything like that. But I like mechs. I've always liked mechs. And I have wanted the customization system that Armored Core gives for a long fucking time. Like, something like this. I wanted it on PC for a long time. And we haven't had it. We haven't had it in nine years. And this is the first one in nine years. And it's exactly what I wanted. Like, it's it's exactly what I wanted. It's, you're an AC. You're targeting stuff. Everything in front of you dies with fun stuff. It's fantastic. I love this game. Already. Already I love this game. And we're going to play it more on the weekend. <laughs> How are we not done with chapter one? That's what amazes me. We're not even done with chapter one. I've done how many missions now? A very large amount. I wish I had a record. Uh, archives. Oh, these are all the licenses that we caught before. All right, anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, this was fantastic. I recommend... Even, even if you're not an Armor Core fan, if you're a FromSoft fan, give this game a shot. It's the first Armor Core in nine years, and everyone's like, what? Why did they do this and not another, uh, from, like, Dark Souls clone? Because it's an old IP. It's one of their old IPs. And it's nice to breathe some life into something that was stagnant in the corner for a long time. But anyway, that's it for me. So, uh, what's my damn thing? Uh, for anyone who turned tuned in during the stream, thanks so much. Always happy to chat. For anyone, uh, watching the VOD, good to see you as well. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Sorry about the scuff. Uh, I had to figure that one out. Thankfully, I looked up a guide and all was good. But yeah, more of this on the weekend. Uh, for probably a lot longer. But I need to get some sleep because it's still a weekday. And I will see you later. Bye-bye! Thank you for the hydrate. I will be sure to hydrate. Alright, see you later.